Hey, how's it going everyone? Mr. Break Time here with episode 5 of my Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge of Pokemon Emerald. And in the last episode, we caught two new buddies. We caught our Nidorino Lasercorn, and we caught one of my favorite f buddies and one of my brother's favorite, uh, our Raichu, which we named Kiroi Simko after the fourth Hokage from Naruto. And as you can see, I trained everyone up uh, a bit just uh, because the trainers' levels are gonna be spiking up soon, so make everyone even. And in one of the houses in the trainer's school, I talked to the teacher, and he actually gave me the Quick Claw, which is gonna come in handy. And the main stars of this gym are gonna be basically Tyranno and my Gloom. And just to summarize, when I was also training Lasercorn, he also learned Double Kick. Which is also going to be useful, so I could use him if I, w if I wanted to, but I want to train my main guy, Tyranno. And just as you can tell, we are in the Rustboro Gym. Wait, I'm just going to battle all these trainers and get straight to Roxanne. Huh. Looks like the trainers are a bit cocky. Guess I'm going to have to put them in their place. Huh. Youngster Josh would like to battle San Geo, dude. Go, Tyreno! Alright. I apologize if this gym battle is going to be a bit, like, quick and short, but it's the reason that it's Tyranno. He's awesome. He's very powerful, and he's just going to wreck souls right now. See? That Geodude almost leveled me up a level and a half, so that's actually pretty good. This gym gives out good experience. All right. Can't beat me. He won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Oh, I beg to differ. I'm pretty sure my uh, six-man team can take you on. If all you got is giant little rocks to face my giant water dinosaur, then you are sadly mistaken if you think you're going to stand a chance against me, my friend. That's one. Well, when we get to the second gym leader, Brawly, that is going to be a challenge when we face his Makuhita and his fighting uh, partner, so that should be a very interesting gym battle. Alright. Alright, and just to mix it up, just so it's not just Tyranno, I'm gonna put my Gloom in there. Alright, I'm gonna battle this last guy, and yep, there she is, Roxanne. About to fight her in a minute, after I destroy this hiker. Uh, more rocks. What I actually can't wait for is the leak that Koro Koro did for the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire that the pics they showed for the gym of Rustboro is actually very, very cool and badass in the 3D look just like an X and Y. And I'd say it's pretty good. And I actually can't wait to see how the other seven gyms are going to look like and then the Pokemon League and, of course, all the other cool features. So, this should be interesting. Yep. There goes Gloom. Absorbing them souls.
All right, and here she is, Roxanne, the first gym leader of the Hoenn. Let's take her on. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Respiro gym leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply what I learned in the Pokemon trainer school in battle. Well, it's not going to help you, but bring it on. And the gym leader music in this game is actually not that bad. All right. Leader Roxanne would like to battle. She sent out... Ooh, it's a good thing I trained everyone. And I'm going to send out my brother. And, yeah. Oh, wow. One hit KO and them all them rocks. Wow, that one Geo dude almost loved me up in one shot. <laughs> and then, of course, the next tough challenge is gonna come up next: the goddamn Compass Pokemon Nose Pass. Huh. It became a bit better when they announced Probo Pass in uh, fourth gen, but eh, it's okay. It's got sturdy, so you can set up stuff or do some damage and other stuff, but it's kind of a bit weak. But, uh, it's, it's so-so. Alright, and uh, who should I use against Nose Pass? You know what? I'll keep my brother in. Let's see if he can sweep the gym leader. Yep, here comes Nose Pass. Nose Pass. Oh, wow, level 15. Uh-oh. Well, first I'm going to poison powder it. Just in case. Well, unless it uses block, then I can't escape. But I am going to probably switch out, maybe, if it presents a problem. Like Rock Tomb. Yep. It's going to slowly drain your health. And I'm going to drain some more of your health. And there's Block, so my brother is stuck in this battle. So, if he get hits with a crit, I do apologize. <laughs> and, oh, wow, critical hit! My brother got the crit. All them crits, all day, every day. Yep, there's the berry. See, this is why I applied the poison powder, just because I knew that berry would have kicked in right about now, and now the poison's going to take it back, and then next turn after absorb, poison's going to kill it. See, normally at this point, if the poison wasn't there and it was below a certain point, they would have used a potion, but now, it won't. There you go. Oh, wow, I thought it'd do way more than that. Huh, that's surprising. Okay, I guess she is going to use a potion. <laughs> there goes my logic out the window. Well, I can't switch out since it used block, so I have to stay in. So, yep, she used a potion. Oh, uh, that's fine. I'll use double. This double absorb, and then the combined with the poison should knock it out now. So, one more absorb after this, and then that nose pass will turn into a pile of rubble. I can't wait to evolve my brother into a vile plume, which then he'll be really, really awesome. But by then, I would have caught another Pokemon, then renamed him. Oh, really? Another potion? Wow. Oh, okay. Roxanne wants to be a little cheeky in this battle. Fine. Bring it on. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Nine dan- uh oh. That's okay, I'm not worried. Absorb. Come on. Thank you. Now the poison will kill it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Yes. If that was a rock tomb and that was a crit, then th this would have been a problem if it kept using rock tomb, but I didn't. And my brother basically destroyed Roxanne. 
and we got ourselves our badge our first badge all right yep sorry I was just too awesome stone badge all right and I got 1500 for winning not bad all right And I got the TM for Rock Tomb. Huh. We'll teach that to one of our friends later. And we'll also teach that Bullet Seed that we also got earlier or later. Alright. Yeah, we, have, we can only use it once. Because only in 5th gen you can use TMs more than once. Which they finally got it. It's about time. It took them 5 generations. But they finally got the idea that you should keep your TMs. Constantly use them like HMs. So, uh, it's about time they did that. Mm, all right. All right, we're just gonna... Oh, wow, what's going on here? Get out, out of the way. Ah, Aqua! What in the world? Hey, it's the same guy from the woods. Oh man. Looks like Team Aqua is presenting a problem. <laughs> Looks like they raided the Devon Corporation and stole those goods. Wonder why. All right. Well, before we go kick that uh, guy's butt, we're gonna quickly heal up here. All right. Yep. Okay, and uh, against the Aqua guy, I'm going to lead off with... I'll lead off with my brand new buddy, Kiro Senko. Alright, looks like me and Kiro Senko are going to go tackle the Aqua grunt and teach him a lesson that he'll never forget. Because never mess with the kids, uh, the heroes of the story, because... In the end, you'll always get your butt kicked by us, no matter how hard you try. We're going to prove that point right now. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pedalboard Woods. See? My awesomeness is being spread around. Alright. I was robbed by... Yep. Dev on goods. I'm going to be in serious trouble. Eh, don't worry, dude. We're going to kick that Aqua guy's butt. Alright, let's go. Run, 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 run. Hey, Joey. Run, 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 run. Come on. Go through the grass. Don't encounter anyone. Don't encounter anyone. All right. Yep. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. What in the world? Who's this guy? Oh, it's Mr. Bryony. Oh, the sailor guy. Pico. Uh oh. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Pico is his pet wingle. So, let's see. Where are they? Ah, there they are. Oh, okay. Let's see what I could have caught instead of Kiroi Senko in this cave. I could have caught a uh, Tentacruel. Oh, wow. Tentacruel are actually really specially defensive. So, eh. Go, Kiroising. And the best thing, like I said, it knows T-Bolt right away, which is really, really powerful. So now I don't have to waste the TM for T-Bolt on Kiroisenko. I can teach it to someone else that needs it. So that's great. And yes, we are going to do that little side quest that one of the gym leaders is going to give us Thunderbolt way down the road, so... And besides, it's good for training and other stuff, so... Alright, dude. Come on, give it up. Wait, what are you coming? Come and get some, then. He, if he wants to get away, why didn't he just run? He just took one step back. I never get this. Mm. Well, I actually can't wait to see the new Team Aqua and Team Magma in the new game, so this should be interesting. Uh. He hauled it all. The hostage turned out to be worthless. Hey, any Pokemon can be made to be strong. You call yourself a trainer. An evil trainer, but still. Not cool, man. Yeah, I want to battle you. Bring it. Right, here comes Poochiena. Go, Kiroi Senko! T-Bolt! Let's go, boy!
One hit KO. Kiroi Senko wins. Alright. See, that's why you never mess with the yellow flash. Never. Ugh, my career in crime comes to a dead end. Damn right it does. Huh? You never mess with us. Second easy job to pull off. Well, you didn't do a good job of running away, dude. Huh? Seal some peck. You want to back that badly? Take it. Huh. At least he knows when to give up. That's a good thing. Yep, Mr. Briney. So you're now I say something here. Now, there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg. Come on, Pico. We should make our way home. Pejo? Alright. And we can't go further past the cave because we don't have the HM for Rock Smash yet, so. And right before we go, I'm just gonna quickly go right here. And there are a couple of trainers we actually didn't get to battle yet, so we're actually going to take them on quickly right before we head to Duford Town, our next destination. Well, looks like we have a double battle here, and who should be out? Let's see. I'll keep Kiroi Senko out, and I'll send out my other new friend, Lasercorn. And let's take him on. Alright, just so you know, I've not once been bested by anyone at anything. You should not say these things in front of me. That motivates me more to kick your butt then. Alright, bring it on. Oh, a rich guy. Oh, it looks like we're going to get a lot of money from this. Alright, let's go. Let's go. All right, T bolt on that low tad, and then double kick on that zigzagoon. And now six. Okay, now they're switching. Okay, that's one, and that's two. K O. It's a good thing I trained all my friends up. This is becoming a, like a little bit of a cakewalk, but now it's going to get challenging after, so that's going to be more fun. Because the more challenging it is, the more fun it is. So, Because you always want to challenge yourself in these things. You don't want it to be too easy. Then what's the fun in that, then? All right, same strategy. There we go. Yep, T-Bolt. Alright, Kiroi Senko agreed to level 13. Nice. And Laser Corn should level up after this, I believe. And of course, fighting super effective against the Dark type. Alright. Oh, he didn't level up. Ah, eh, that's fine. Alright, and I'm gonna keep this uh, same pair here. Yeah, 3200 because of the rich guy. All right, let's see what is this. Ooh, another potion. That's good. Saves us a bit of money down the road. All right. Battle you and battle you. And we're going to get those berries later because we actually are going to make a tiny bit of, like, polka blocks and other stuff just in case. Because we are going to do a little contest uh, special episode later down the road. So those berries could always be helpful. Well, it depends on who we want to enter. All right, we have a Meryl and a Ralts. Uh. Mm, I'm pretty sure Ralts notes confusion at level nine. So I'm gonna switch Laser Corn out because I don't want him to die right now. So I'm gonna switch him out to I'll switch him out to my Loudred. Uh, 
Uh, I still hate this name that my brother named it. And as soon as I get to the name raider, I'm in... Oh my god. Yes, my brother is always hanging around me, watching my episodes. Because he wants to see whether how far I can go without someone dying. Because I am going to prove him wrong, though. Although, he is actually going to support me now, now that I caught Raichu. Because <laughs> he knows not to mess with me. Yeah, my soundproof blo bro sorry, blocks Growl. Yeah, and Astonish on Ralts, and yeah, that's the match. Alright. Zap you into submission. Alright. And then after that... Yeah, there we go. Now Laser Coin leveled up. Alright, cool. Well, obviously, for the next gym, I'm not going to use my Louter because it's going to get pummeled. And then for the other um, friend I'm not going to use in the next gym battle, I'm definitely not going to use Dylan because it's part rock type. So I'm not going to use Dylan or my Loudred in the next gym. And I could always send out my Gloom to absorb the hits because it's poison and it can absorb fighting. And my Tyranno is bulky, but I don't want to send him out for too long. Laser Corn can uh, tank the hits. And Raichu is okay. It's really, really a special attack, but... Uh, that may be a bit risky too, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, I'll catch a psychic type as my next buddy capture, which is probably going to be in the next episode. Alright, cut. And now, time for the berries. And those berries on the side are pineapple berries. Alright, yeah. And the middle are chesto berries, which are actually going to be useful later. Alright, two Chesto Berries, right? And Chesto Berries are actually very useful, just in case in this gen that you r would normally run into a Feebas, but I negated that, and we'll see if I happen to actually get a Feebas. We'll see how I can evolve it, if it's still Pokeblocks or through usable Waterstone. I'll have to double-check my file files of the randomizer of this game, so of, like, the uh, rules and everything, of, like, certain trade evolutions are negated, so I can get... Alakazam, I can get Golem, I can get Gengar, and the other certain evolutions that will require trading and everything are negated, and they have, like, special features to evolve, so I'll have to double-check that. And I really hope I can catch later down the road one of my favorite Pokemon, Porygon, or as I like to call him, Duck Duck. And all my friends know how much I love using my Duck in competitive battling right now. And they uh, do not like him because he's so badass and devastating in his power. And it's really, really cool. Oh yeah, I have to talk to this guy first. Alright. Looks like we're going to save the episode as soon as we hit Duford Town, so in the next episode, you're going to see me catch more buddies and everything, and then progress through the story. And, oh, Devon Corporation. Alright. And, of course, yeah, Parcel, yep. Yes. I just want to speed right through this conversation. Oy vey. Ugh, you talk too much. Get on with it. Oh, my God. Yes. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, up, up. Please go ahead. Yes. Yes. Mr. Stone. And, of course, we all know that this guy is, uh, Steven, the champion's father. And, of course, if we take the letter that we get from Steven in the cave in Duford and come back here to the Devon Corporation and give the letter to his father, then we can actually get the experience share in this game. So that's actually going to be very useful to us. Alright, yeah, we give this to Steven, we come back, and then we'll get the experience here. Alright, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Pokenav, alright, this is going to be for our grinding later. That we can rematch people and then level up, because then their levels will increase, so will mine. And we'll get more experience, and of course, when we battle the rich trainers, they're going to give us more money. Ah, free heal. Thank you. That's very nice of you. 
Alright. Caution and care. Yep. Alright, let's get out of here. And also in this area, once we uh, get the fossils, if I so choose, then we're going to revive them. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to count the fossils as an encounter because the tower in the desert... Well, I could count them as a capture, unless I happen to capture them ahead of time in a random encounter, but we'll see what happens. Out of the two fossils, I do want to get a uh, Anorith instead of the Lily, because Lily is like a little wall that keeps stalling and stalling, whereas Armaldo is a very beastly. Like, give it Sword Stance, X Scissor, Rock Slide, and other uh, moves, like in the current gen. I'm talking about moves in the current gen. But right now, I could still teach her like Sword Stance, Rocks, uh, and other stuff. So, yeah, we'll see. Match call. Yeah. Please. Uh, come on. Alright, Pokenav. Match call. Mr. Stone. Yeah. I'm looking down at you from my office window. Wahaha, <laughs> see you again. He uses the same saying as the third gym leader. Uh, interesting. Yes, 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 yes. Just get on with it. Thank you. Okay, run. Run away! Run away! Freedom! Freedom is mine! And... Alright. And hey! It's my girlfriend, May! Hey, May! What's up? Oh. Hi, Naoki. Got a match goal. Yeah, let's register each other. Hey! Alright! I just stared my girlfriend, May, in my Pokenav. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briny. Yeah, he's on his way to this cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along? Mine's looking pretty decent. So how about a little battle? Oh, sure, bring it on! Just because I like you doesn't mean I won't go easy on you. Bring it on, May! Alright. Yep. Low tad. Interesting. Choice. Go, Kiroi Senko. Thunderbolt. Yep, just wrecking them souls. Yep. Absorbing that power. Leveling up like no tomorrow. Alright, here come. Wow, level 15. Oh, damn. That's yeah, okay. Kiroi Senko can take him on. Oh. Oh, isn't that wonderful? All right, Thunderbolt. All right, level fourteen. Very nice. Excellent, yeah, better than I expected. Of course, I am. By the way, I just passed. All right. Nice. Alright, looks like we're going to be ending the episode off here. And next episode we're going to reach Duford, catch new buddies and everything. So yeah, we're going to save the game. Yep. Yeah. And guys, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because now I'm going to upload more episodes later down the road. And yeah, and just as a quick question to you guys is, who is your favorite, uh, most favorite, uh, uh, Hoenn Pokemon that you're still using today? That's the question I'm going to ask for you guys. What's your most favorite Hoenn Pokemon that you like still using today? Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.